Students, welcome back yet to another vlog. Hope your day's off to an absolutely brilliant start. Champions League final. Don't you want to talk about it? Don't you want to go there for today's video? Gonna move away from that subject completely. Not a big fan of Madrid for the people who know me. Not a big fan of Ramos, not a big fan of Ron, not a big fan of anybody on that team whatsoever. So we're gonna move away from that subject and talk about something a little bit more pleasant uh, for you non-Real Madrid supporters, and that is the giveaway. So let's go ahead and dive on my computer real quick and we'll talk about the winners of the giveaway. All right, so here we go. The winners for the contest will be announced through this website that I've been using for the past two giveaways, uh, for the iWatch and for the Nike Orton Ball we did in the fall. Uh, it's called sandrasears.com. Kind of a weird website, but uh, it works well for me. So we'll copy and paste uh, the URL for the video into this little bar right here, which will in turn load all the comments for the video. So there's 229 comments for this specific video. Um, so I'll pick the winner right here, randomly pick the first winner. So how I'll do it is I'll announce um, the boot first and then I'll choose the winner. So first boot and then I'll hit pick winner. So the first boot we'll be, um, we'll be choosing will be the white T90s. So the first winner that will win the white T90s is Kai Weber. I would like to win. <laughs> All right, Kai, you just won. Congrats to Kai Weber uh, for winning the white T90s. Uh, this dude has no channel, so I'll find out uh, how to contact Kai um, momentarily. But Kai Weber is the first winner. He won the white T90s. Second boot we'll be doing is the black T90s soft ground. So winner number two is Ellen Singh 21 I love you, already subbed, already followed, and liked. <laughs> All right, Ellen Singh 21 is the winner of the black T90s. And she has a channel and she has one sub. All right, so congrats to Ellen Singh 21 for winning the black T90s uh, soft grounds. Uh, the next boot we'll do is the Euro 2012 Vapor. Third winner is Andrew Bell. Love the videos, bro. Quality stuff. Keep grinding for that contract, bro. All right, bro, bro. You are the winner of the Euro 2012 Vapor Edition. Congrats to Andrew Bell, and he has a channel. No, he doesn't have a channel. Um, I'll find out how to contact you, Andrew, but congrats to Andrew for winning the Euro 2012 Vapors. Next boot is the Gold T90s FGs. So fourth winner is Denny Kulasinek. Hopefully I didn't... Um, Brutalize your last name, bro. But Denny Kulisinek is the winner of the fourth giveaway, the gold T90s. Love the channel, been a sub for a while now. Would love to win a pair of cleats. If I could win, could you please sign them? Of course, Denny, I will sign those boots. Thanks and best of luck on your road to glory. I appreciate that, Denny. And uh, congrats on winning the gold T90s. And you have no channel. And you have a Real Madrid logo as your profile picture. I might have to disown you, Denny. But uh, congrats to him for, again, winning the gold T90s. The next winner uh, will be choosing, let's do the green SL uh, Vapor 4s, I guess they are. Vapor 4s, green ones, all carbon fiber on the bottom. Fifth winner is Julian Mendolia. Mendalia, Mendolia. You're the goat. I'd love to win a pair. Huge fan. Cheers on the grind, mate. I appreciate that, Julian. And congrats on winning the green Vapor Fours, all carbon fiber. You have three subs. Congrats on those three subs, Julian. And uh, I'll be in touch with you very, very shortly. But uh, moving on to the last winner, the winner of the Vapor Threes Soft Grounds. Melkur and Shalem. <laughs> I 
I'm not sure if I pronounced your uh, last name right, Melker, but uh, hopefully it's close. Great content, I uh, appreciate that, Melker. Amazing for me to get a bit of sense of how life of a college soccer player really looks like. I appreciate that, Melker, and uh, congrats on winning the last pair of boots, the Vapor 3s. So that wraps up the giveaway, guys. I can't thank you enough for your continuous support for this channel. You're the main reason why I am successful on this platform is because of you. Uh, for this giveaway specifically, there was a tremendous amount of likes, comments, and shares, and that's, again, all because of you. So I can't thank you enough for your support for this channel and for me specifically. But uh, moving on to the main portion of today's video, and that is how do you contact coaches? More specifically, how do you contact college coaches and agents as well? So again, let's go ahead and dive my computer one final time and check out how do you contact coaches and agents. So the first topic we'll be talking about is how do you contact a soccer coach, a college coach specifically. Now this is a topic I already talked about maybe three, four vlogs ago, but want to redo it and talk about it again since it'd be very hard for someone who is searching for this term or phrase online to find it if it wasn't the title of a video. So want to redo it and talk about it again. So for those of you who are seeing this part, make sure to skip to the part on the screen where I talk about agents. But uh, moving on here, there are two ways to contact college coaches. So the first way involves going through the coach's actual roster for his team. So most coaches have their own bio for their specific program. Uh, say for example, if you want to find the head coach's email for UCLA, how exactly would we find his email? Well, searching for UCLA soccer roster, we'll find that the first link is the best, as it says the roster. Anderson, I see you do. That's a teammate of mine, um, ex-teammate from Monmouth, who now uh, transferred to UCLA. The dude's an absolute beast. But uh, scrolling down, we can see that Jorge has his own bio. He's the head coach of UCLA men's team. And we see on the right side of his bio, we see that he has his email for his specific institution, for his school. So that's one way to find his email is to go through his bio. But say, for example, if he doesn't have his email on his bio, how would you find his contact information if there was no contact information on his specific page? Well. Let's say, for example, if we go to Virginia, Virginia soccer. That's a very good college here in America for college soccer. Let's go on to that coach's uh, bio and see what we find. So George is the head coach of Virginia, and we find that he has no email or contact information for his specific school. So how would you find George's contact information um, in order to send him his highlight tape, send him your highlight tape, um, or information about yourself. Well, there's one trick that I learned while marketing myself as a transfer student. Uh, Virginia, if I can spell. So this is the main keyword, um, is athletics directory, or athletic directory, is the key term in order to find uh, the coach's email if it's not on his bio. So this is the entire school, um, their contact information for each sport. So scrolling down, we can find that um, men's soccer is right here. So George, head coach, that's his phone number. And then if we hit his email, it'll take us to his email as well, which is gg. 4n at virginia.edu. So those two ways are the best ways, in my opinion, to find a coach's email and to market yourself as a player. Now, to contact an agent, let's contact an agent or try to find an agent's information. Um, there's two ways that we can find an agent as well. One is US Soccer Agents. And we find that the top link is the link that we want. Or we can type in soccer agents and scrolling down this is the link that we want but if we type in US soccer agents we'll find that the best link is the first one so after this page loads here we'll find some information in regards to agents and if we scroll down we'll see 2017 2018 pre-registered intermediaries right here and if we click on this link we'll find some names and some contact information as well so all these names to the left are pre-registered and qualified agents um, here in america so we'll find names and we'll find emails for these agents as well which is extremely helpful in your search of finding someone to represent you but if we scroll down to 2018 2019 we won't find emails i don't think yeah so there's no emails for 
um, these agents yet, as it's not 2019 yet. So make sure to go on to the 2017, 2018 link uh, for agents. But hopefully you guys learned something in this process. Hopefully it helps you out in your journey to becoming a pro or college athlete. If you have any questions regarding any of these processes, make sure to leave it down in the comment section below and I'll try to uh, respond to as many comments and questions as I can. But that is where we're going to end today's video. Yes, I know I just sat in a chair and talked to you guys about a few subjects for a few minutes, but I feel like it's enough for a vlog. So that is where we're gonna end it today. But before we do, one final thing, one final thought, and that is I am building a website. I need your suggestions, your ideas, your feedback in regards to what you would put on the website. So in the comments down below, make sure to leave some feedback for me what you would put on the website. But as always guys, if you liked the video, if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe, help us out the channel, comment, like, share, I'll check you guys in the next vlog. Deuces.